Chapter 15 Air Around Us Introduction Air is all around us. We need air all the time to remain alive. Let us learn about this precious natural resource. You have been studying about air for many years. What is air? You cannot see air, but you can feel it. You can feel hot air touching you if you move out in summer months. You can feel it if you stand under a fan. In fact, air is matter. It contains different types of particles in the gaseous state. We can prove that air is matter by showing that it has mass and occupies space. How much air is there? The earth is surrounded by a blanket of air which extends up to a few kilometers above the earth's surface. This blanket of air helps us to survive. Not only do we breathe in the air, but it also keeps the earth warm enough for us to live and it also protects us from harmful rays of the sun. Air is thicker near the surface of the earth, but as we move up, the density of air decreases. Mountaineers have to carry cylinders filled with oxygen when they climb high altitudes. This is because at higher altitudes, there is not enough oxygen in the air to breathe. What does air contain? Till the 18th century, scientists thought air to be one substance. But now, we know that air is a mixture of gases. Let us know more about the components of air here. Water vapor. Air contains water vapor. The source of water vapor is evaporation of water and transpiration. Water vapor regulates the temperature of air. Oxygen. Oxygen is an important part of air. It is needed for respiration and combustion. About 20% of air is oxygen. You can verify this by a simple activity. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is a major component of air. It takes up about 78% of the volume of air. Though we breathe in nitrogen along with oxygen, it is not absorbed by our body. It is expelled out with carbon dioxide when we exhale. Nitrogen is very useful for living organisms. It is absorbed by plants in a different chemical form and from them it is transferred to animals. Carbon dioxide and other gases. There is about 0.3% carbon dioxide in the air. When respiration takes place in animals and plants, carbon dioxide is formed and released into the air. However, the amount of carbon dioxide released by plants is much less than the amount of oxygen released. There is a very small amount of few more gases present in air and they are called inert gases. Why does oxygen not get exhausted? There is a balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air. We take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide during the process of breathing. At the same time, plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen during photosynthesis. This maintains the balance of the two gases in the air. Uses of air we have already seen how air is essential for our survival. It is also needed for various other things. Moving winds help windmills to move and generate energy. Birds are able to fly because of air. Air helps the aeroplanes, gliders and sailboats to move. It also helps the seeds and pollen grains to get dispersed. Why is air getting dirty? Air is getting dirty due to human activities. Burning of fuels and other industrial processes release smoke and harmful gases into the air leading to air pollution. Polluted air is very harmful for us and breathing it can harm the lungs. Reducing air pollution is very necessary. If the pollution goes on increasing, soon the air will become unfit for breathing and we will get all kinds of diseases. If we want to keep the earth safe and clean for living, we need to control and reduce the activities that are making our air dirty.